Hello, this is Mike Lively, and this is video two on modeling the heart in Blender, uh, a series of free seminars that we give at NKU, um, and then we record on video and put them up on YouTube. Uh, we're modeling the heart, and as I said earlier in the last video, hey, maybe I should have been smarter to start with a kidney or something. It's a fairly complex organ. We won't do it justice here, but we'll give you the tools that you need to move on and do some more interesting things. We're going to uh, go ahead and put up the second video here, and that's going to be working with veins. So open up your resource folder. So let's open up our resource folder and open up our vein blend dot blend file. And we're going to have a little bit more fun here than we did in the last video. Uh, we're basically looking at uh, the basics. And now we're going to basically play around and actually build some veins. Hit the tab key to select the vertices here. And uh, this actually looks like a very uh, complicated structure. Uh, you can look inside there and you get the main aorta there. And how do you do this? Um, uh, a lot of vertices, you do I have to put each vertice in at once. No, there's two commands that are going to really help us out here. We're going to build a basic structure, extrude it using edge extrusion, and basically uh, smooth and divide. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. Let's uh, just basically start a whole new um, scene. So I'm just going to hit the uh, X bar here and just choose, let's click on X. And let's go ahead and delete all of it and start new. Now I want to hit the space bar. I'm going to actually start with a um, circle and I'm going to extrude that. Before I do that, I want to get a nice view here. Here's my views menu. So what I'm going to do is going to work from the top view. So hit view and hit top. And we're going to move over here and uh, take a look at the center axis here. And you can see what's facing me are basically red and green axis. And that means that the uh, X and Y axis are facing me and the Z axis is up. And the way I know that is RGB, X, Y, Z, that's the color code of the axis. R for X, green for Y, and Z for blue. So let's come along here and actually uh, bring out a circle and ex edge extrude it to make an aorta. So hit the space bar on the screen, uh, hit mesh, and go to circle. And you can change the number of vertices here. I'm going to make it 12 or increase it to 14. I'll go ahead and hit OK. 14 is fine. And I can translate my circle to the middle of the screen here. Let's go ahead and do that. And what I want to do is I want to extrude this in the Y, excuse me, in the Z direction. You can see the little blue dot means the Z is facing me. And I'm just going to rotate this a little bit with my Alt key. And I'll hit the E key for extrusion. And I can hit the Z key, basically extrude in the... Uh, Z direction. So that keeps me right in the Z direction. Now, <clears throat> I can turn this over and split this. I'm going to split this into an aorta. So we'll click that. I'm going to select everything, hit the A key, and translate it down a little bit. I'm going to split this aorta. This uh, Alt rotate so we can actually look right down into it. And I'm just going to basically draw a line across these two, and then I'm going to uh, split this into an aorta. I'm going to rotate just a little bit around the Z axis just to align everything just the way I want it. So I'll hit the R key to rotate and rotate around Z. So hit the Z to keep it rotating. So these two lines are nice and straight in the Y direction. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, Alt rotate this just a little bit. There we go. And I'm going to hit the A key to deselect. I'm going to hit the right key now. Excuse me. Yeah, the right key to control select that. And Y, hit the E key. I'm going to extrude just the vertice. And I'm extruded along the Y axis, so extruded vertice about halfway. I'm going to right click on the other vertice on the other side. I'm going to hit the E key to extrude and along the Y axis at about halfway again. So I have now two extrusions, and I want to connect those. So what I'm going to do is select both of those. So I'm going to hit the uh, right click, and then I'm going to hit Shift click, and I'll hit the W key and merge those two together. And I have a line <laughs> drawn across my uh, <laughs> my little uh, cylinder here and it doesn't look like it did much, but I really have. What I'm going to do now is select all the vertices on this side and extrude that out into an aorta. So at this point I can choose to work in the vertice or the uh, edge mode. Now let's go ahead and select these vertices and show you what I'm talking about. So I've hit the B key, and it allows me to marquee around the vertices of interest. And I can at this point extrude the vertices, but let's work in edge mode. So I'm going to come down here and select the edge mode. Basically just click on the edge, 
and when you do you can see that the edges are selected at this point I can hit the E key and do an extrusion and let's come along and select the other side so hit the B key to select marquee around what you want to select and hit the E key again for extrusion make sure you don't have both sides selected so I'm at the basic control Z to go back hit the A key to get off the other selection now hit the B key to select just one side there we go and hit the E key for extrusion and you kind of had a, a vein okay or a order pulled off now that does not look very veiny or a or orderish and so we need to actually show you how to make that look more uh, physical so the way you want to do that is subdivide the surfaces and then smooth them so let's demonstrate that real quick I'm going to pull this down so you can actually see the menu and in the menu below you have a subdivide and you have a smooth Maybe, uh, hit A to select my entire object and move it down a little bit so you can see what happens so what I'm going to do right here is just start subdividing so let's hit subdivide and what subdivide does is start splitting up the surfaces and adding more uh, vertices and edges and faces of course and then it will smooth it out and you can see in the smoothing process indeed my uh, system has become a lot more physical looking there you go looks a little more physical there's a little bit more work you need to do there but you, you get the idea there and uh, I don't want to work in this scene though, I actually want to work in the core scene and at the very end I'm going to actually divide and smooth. So we're going to hit Control Z and get move back a little bit here. Okay now I'm back in my course mode and actually what I want to do it as from the bottom is pull a little bit of more of this aorta out and rotate it a little bit or curve it and then pull off a vein from it. So let's go ahead and hit the Alt key and rotate around. Let's completely flip this over. There we go. And I'm going to pull a curve off a, a curving aorta off of this. So I'm going to, have to shift off to basically pull this down a little bit. I'm going to select these edges right here at the B key and marquee around. And I'm going to hit a new uh, uh, control here. Hit, hit the control key space and choose combo. And that gives me the ability to rotate and uh, translate at the same time. So it's a nice little tool here. So I hit the E key and I'm going to go ahead and extrude up. And then I can rotate and E key again, extrude and rotate E key again, extrude and rotate, kinda like kitchen plumbing isn't it? E key again and then uh, extrude and rotate a little bit if you want and E key again and uh, extrude, right, absolutely, and then rotate around and we're actually going to need to be able to use this tool for the aorta, main aorta of the heart as we work with the heart a little bit. But what I want to do now is actually just extrude a vein out of this. So I, I don't like this tool uh, unless I'm doing the curve. So get off of it. Just hit the Alt uh, space bar again and go to Translate. And I'm going to actually just rotate a little bit so I can see this. And what I want to do is basically just pull off a vein from the side here. There's a number of ways to do this. I could actually uh, subdivide this particular one and uh, pull it off. Let's do that. I'm coming along here and I'm going to hit at the uh, edge, actually the, the uh, face mode. I'm going to right click to select that face and come down here and hit subdivide. And I'm going to come along here and actually work with that a little bit and then pull off a vein. So let's uh, rotate a little bit. Let's zoom in. Alt control. And I'm going to make this kind of circular and then pull it out. So I'm going to go back to my vertice mode. And I'm going to right click on these vertices and start pulling them out a little bit. There you go. Make it a little bit circular. So it's a circular looking vein. Let's pull that out. And that's a little bit circular. I'm going to just live with that for now. Uh, let's move that in right here. Pull that in a little bit. Doesn't like it that way. I just hit the G key, just grab. Sometimes it's easier just to grab or hit the G key and grab around. We're going to be pulling this out anyway. Just want to make it a little bit more circular, look, make it look a little bit more like a vein. Excuse me. Uh, right click at the G key again. And uh, this is not rocket science here. This is just basically drawing with your eyeball. And uh, I like that. So I'll go ahead and hit the edge mode again. Excuse me, the face mode again. Selects the face. See, all these dots are faces. And what I did, all I did is come to, came down here to this menu and hit this, the face to select faces. I'm going to pull this out, so I'm going to right 
click, right click, right click. Now what I could do is actually delete these faces and just work with the edges. That's actually what I want to do. So I'm going to start selecting these faces. Control, the right click, right, and shift, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click, shift, right click. Let's delete that. So hit the X key. And I want to delay, delete the faces. And I, now I have a hole here. And I want to select this and extrude that up. So I'm just going to select one of them. Go back to edge mode. And then select one of them. So right click. And then I'm going to hit the space bar. Look for select. And down at the bottom there's something called edge loop. You can't see it, but if you scroll down your menu and see edge loop, I'm going to select that. And it selected the entire edge. It looped all the way around. I'm going to now hit the E key to extrude and extrude that up. And look, I pulled a vein off.